Right here we're going to change from a cash basis to an accrual basis and we're going to be adjusting this cash net income to an accrual net income. So what we're going to be looking here at the changes in our liabilities accounts and the changes here in our asset accounts that would have to be made to our revenue and expense accounts to convert these revenue and expense accounts from a cash to an accrual basis. Right. For our liability accounts, we're going to adjust their cash net income by subtracting any increases in these liabilities and adding any decreases in these liabilities. And looking at our equation here where cash net income adjustment equals plus the changes in assets and minus the changes in liabilities. So this is where we'd be subtracting out the changes in liabilities. And now for our asset accounts, we're going to adjust our cash net income by adding any increases in these assets and subtracting any decreases in these assets. And then looking at our equation here, our cash net income adjustments, this is where we're going to just add our changes in these assets. All right, let's look at our liabilities here as an unearned revenue. And look at the case here where we had a $6,000 in increase in that unearned revenue for the year. So we'd go and we credit our unearned revenue for that $6,000. And this is where we earn less revenue than the cash that was collected. So then our debit amount here would be to our reduce our revenue and that would reduce the cash net income because we earn less revenue than the cash was collected so we'd have to reduce that. Now looking at uh, the case here where we had a reduction in this unearned revenue by five thousand dollars so we go and we debit our unearned revenue for that amount and this is the case where we earn more revenue than the cash that was collected so our credit would be to our revenue account here where we'd increase our cash net income because we earn more revenue than the cash that was collected. All right, let's look at our asset account here, accounts receivable, and let's look at the case here where we had a $50,000 increase in accounts receivable for the year. So we debit our accounts receivable for that $50,000 amount. And this is where we earn more revenue than the cash that was collected. So our credit would be to our revenue account here where we would uh, credit that or increase that by $50,000. So that would increase our cash net income. And that's because we earn more revenue than the cash that was collected. Now going down here and looking at the case where we had a reduction of $10,000 in that accounts receivable. So we'd go up and we'd credit accounts receivable for that amount here. And this is where we earn less revenue than the cash that was collected. So our debit amount here would be to uh, revenue here for $10,000. That would reduce our cash net income because we earn less revenue than, that, than the cash that was collected. So we would reduce that cash net income. Okay, looking at our accounting equation here for the cash net income adjustment, that's equal to adding any changes in our assets and subtracting any changes in our liabilities. So looking at our liabilities first here, we would have an uh, increase in our liabilities, we'd subtract that. And where we had a decrease in our liabilities, we'd add that. And that's done through this arithmetic here with this minus sign. And then for our assets here, any increase in our assets, we'd add those in any decrease in our assets, we'd subtract them. Okay, looking at liabilities as an accounts payable here, take the first example here where we had an increase in 15,000 for the year. So we'd go over and we'd credit or increase our accounts payable by that $15,000. And that's where we incurred more expense than the cash that was paid. So our debit would be to expenses here. We'd increase our expenses by $15,000. And that would reduce our cash net income because we incurred more expense than the cash that was paid. Now let's go here and look at the case where we had a $25,000 reduction in our accounts payable for the year. So we'd go over and we'd debit our accounts payable for $25,000. And that's where we incurred less expense than the cash that was paid. So our credit would be to expenses here uh, for that 25000 and that would increase our cash net income because we incurred less spence, expense than the cash that was paid. All right, let's look at our assets here as inventory or prepaid expenses. 
Now let's look at the first case where we had a $20,000 increase for the year in those uh, inventories, let's say. So we debit our inventory, increase it for $20,000. Now this is where we use less inventory than the cash that was paid for it. So then our credit here would be to expenses. We'd uh, reduce our expenses or credit it for $20,000. Now by reducing those expenses, we would be increasing our cash net income. And we reduce those because we use less inventory uh, than the cash that was paid. Now let's look here in the case here we were to, had a reduction here in our inventory of $12,000. So we'd go up here and credit our inventory for that $12,000. Now this is where we used more inventory than what we paid in cash for it. So then we'd go up here and we'd uh, credit our expenses or we'd increase our expenses for $12,000. Now that would reduce this cash net income and we increase those expenses because we used more inventory than what would be paid in cash. Okay looking at our equation here where the cash net income adjustment equals the changes here in our assets minus the changes in our liabilities. So looking at the first case here where we had a uh, increase in our liability, we would subtract that, and where we had a decrease here in our liability, that ends up as a plus amount here through the arithmetic. And then looking at our asset accounts here where we had an increase in assets, we'd add that, and then where we had a decrease in assets, we'd add that as well or that negative amount. So that would be our cash net adjustment. Okay, in summary here, for converting from a cash basis to an accrual basis, we adjusted our cash net income to our accrual net income. And we did it using this T account approach here where we knew where we had a particular asset or liability on the balance sheet. We had to match it up here with a revenue and expense account here as part of net income on the income statement. And this is where we were adjusting our cash net income to an accrual net income. So we took all these assets and liabilities that we had on an on an accrual basis here and uh, just take for example here where we had the unearned revenue here of a uh, $6,000 increase for the year we credited for that. So we knew that we have to have a matching uh, debit to a revenue account so the debit here was for $6,000 here and that would reduce our revenue here and you can see by that adjustment here we would take and we'd be reducing our cash net income. Now looking here in case of an inventory or prepaid expense where we increase that for the year or debit that amount, we knew that we had to have a corresponding credit balance or credit amount here to our expenses for that, that increase in our inventory. And by uh, reducing our expenses here or crediting them here, we would also be increasing our cash net income through a reduction here in expenses. And any increase here in our revenues, we'd be increasing our cash net income to make that adjustment to an accrual basis. So we just use this T account approach here to simplify uh, how we'd make those adjustments.